Hey guys, happy Easter. Happy Easter. So, it's been a while, and I've had m a, a little while, yeah. and I've had more than a couple of people walk up to me and be like, you haven't posted a video in a while, what's up? And there's been so much up. There's so much up. We're always super busy. Compared to, like, I know families where their kids are in ballet and soccer and baseball and all this hoo-ha. We don't do a lot of anything, or used to, and we're still busy all the time. So. <laughs> Just by having, count them, one, two, three, four, five kids, you know? It's crazy. But. 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 There is an activity. There is news. There, There is news within news. the Dijon A. Nemo Turner household. <laughs> Would you like to tell us what that is? We have started going to Triton, which is Triton Fight Center. <coughs> Again, Jacob started it. And it's an idea that I've been trying to push for a while. I've wanted to do okay. well, martial art. And martial art is something I'm, that's hot. In, <laughs> I'm intrinsically drawn to. <coughs> anyway. Um... So, he's doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Sounds very fancy for a bunch of little man grabbers. But anyway, no, I'm totally kidding. Pete, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. um, Pete, well, that's Pete a new inside me. joke. Um, uh. So, here's the deal, though. Jacob found that this time when he asked, it was a pretty easy sell. Because I have a good friend in my mom's group, which is Mothers of Multiples, um, who also has twins, obviously. And she, not only do her kids do jujitsu, but she does. And she started doing it for fitness and to do something with the kids and stay active. And it's awesome. And I went to a concert with her and some of her jujitsu buddies one time, which was so much fun, seriously, except for their, their way of showing you affection is to choke you out. Um, so you have to be like, no, I don't really... I don't do that. And they're like, well, just tap and we'll stop. And so I'm up to speed there. Um, <laughs> it's called a jujitsu hug. It, uh, yes, you it's, get hugged slick to death. Let me tell you. It's um, a Pete creation, actually. <laughs> if right. not, he instigates it. Um, so she'd been doing that and her kids are doing it. And I just saw that, you know, she loves it so much. And her kids love it and they're doing it together. And it just seemed great. So when Jacob asked to do it, Again. I was like, sure, you know, let's let's do this. Well, he'd been asking about Taekwondo and karate and all this stuff. I and... never once asked for karate. And okay, Taekwondo but, you know, is old people moving slowly. Well, right, but like a counselor previously said, you know, it'd be really good for him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hmm. But when this came up. Actually, I'm trying to think what she, she gave an actual example. She didn't say martial arts. She said this. I think it was Taekwondo. I think it was. I think it was. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but when this came up, I was like, sure, I think it's a great idea. It's horribly expensive, though, is the problem um, when you have five kids. And so I said, well, Jacob, you know, tell you what, you go try it and and we'll see. I'll just find a way. I'll, I'll work it out. So I said, you know, but the class is early and scheduling, blah, blah, blah. Call Pappy and ask if he can take you. Well, so he texts Pappy to see if he'll take him. And he's like, not only will I take him, I'll pay for it. Amazing. Best pappy ever, right? Brilliant. So it's... huge weight off my shoulders. And and so we called to set it up and and I call it the last minute kind of to see, you know, can can he just show up tomorrow with Pappy and do I need to sign a waiver? Blah blah blah. And Pete's like, No, you gotta come. So of course I'm a raving bitch on the phone. Okay, I was. I totally was. But it was because I was stressed out. I had all the timing worked out for that night and he's telling me no. He's 13. He needs to roll with the adults. Rolling is what you call, like, yeah. sparring. In Whenever, when you are in wrestling, you wrestle. When you're in football, you play football. When you do jujitsu, you roll. Okay. And someone who does jujitsu is a practitioner, and the sensei is the same as a professor. Yes. So. Lingo. Anyway. So he's saying, no, he has to roll with the adults, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, err, because I didn't have time to screw with this. And the scheduling was all, all off. So I was basically a raving bitch. But then the way things came out, you know, we decided to go that night and just try it out and, and give it a try. And he's basically wanted to go every day since then. And I've made most of it. 
and the twins mm-hmm. and Jackson have wanted to start. So they've gone to two lessons each, um, which is super exciting. It's been really good for the twins. Um, although the first time I walked in with the twins, uh, Pete, the professor, says, don't touch my glass. I'll rip your fingers off. Because there's this big, there's a display, all right? So there's you a have viewing window, so you can watch. Yeah, there's a waiting area, and then there's the mats where people roll, and like there's weightlifting at the end, and like they do silks classes. It's a proper fight and silks center. But <laughs> well, it's cool though, and that takes way hella strength to do silks. I, yeah, it's I've crazy. seen some of that stuff. It's crazy. Like people just casually doing the splits and flipping upside down. Like, ugh, yeah, that would hurt just so much. just from stretchy ropes in the air, flipping and s- doing splits and dropping and, ugh, crazy. Um, crazy. But anyway, we walk in, there's a viewing window. He says, don't touch my glass or I'll rip your fingers off. So everybody's real quiet and he sits there probably ten minutes then out of nowhere he says, you know, it's not nice to rip people's fingers off. <laughs> I said, you're right, but I'm pretty sure he would do it. So don't touch the glass. We don't touch the glass. Every time hither to this point we say Pete, I'll I'll edit in a photo so people kind of get the idea <laughs> of how intimidating this guy is. But he's super fun and everybody he's loves so him. Fun. And and that's the thing, as bad as my kids were scared of him, they're like, oh my god, they were ready to come back. They were like, let's go, you know. So they love it. Um, and I've been impressed so far with just even what the twins are doing at five years old. They're already showing them forms and moves and and one of their instructors, because they have several instructors for the little kids, which I think is awesome. Here's the Um, list right here. You'll see it edited in. All these guys. um, So they take turns and they work with them so that, like, my kids who are just starting get a little extra attention to kind of help them get caught up. And one of the instructors apologized last week. He's like, they'll do more. Next time I'm like, are you kidding? You kept them occupied and entertained for an hour? Really, that's all they need. But they, they're having fun. They're doing exercise. They're getting fit. And they're learning discipline. And and that's what I like about it is it's no BS discipline. No BS. You will do as you were told. Love yeah. it. Love it. The twins are always sitting on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> not my twins. <laughs> not, not our twins. <laughs> but, that's so funny. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I think it's going to end up being really good for us as a family. Um, and if I could afford it, I would probably start doing it uh, in the sooner rather than later. But I'm going to have to figure out some budget tweaks to make that happen. Because it is expensive, but I'm sure it's, it, it's so far it's worth every minute and every penny. Um, so fun. And, and like today, Jacob's like, I'm going to go clean the twins' closet. And I'm like, that's weird, but okay. Um, Pete said help out around the house. So Jacob's <laughs> helping out around the house. I figure if this keeps up. I can pay for jujitsu with the money I'd save on a housekeeper. Just about. Because when you think about it, I've cleaned, there. there's a whole section of our house that's there, and I cleaned that out and went crazy because I was listening to ACDC. And then yesterday, or was it two days ago, yesterday or whatever, there's a whole bookshelf that's been unorganized and disheveled, and there are just books everywhere, and it's all messed up. And there's a desk that's completely unorganized, and it's all clutter, clutter, clutter. And I went through that just recently and got all that figured out. That was out. just yesterday. It was a long day. Long day. Um, <laughs> You're but talking. he did he did a good job and he did these things pretty much unprovoked. And so I really like that. And then I think Josh, even though Josh has at this point chosen not to try jujitsu, um, he sees Jacob helping out and he doesn't want Jacob to get more credit. So Josh and the little kids are out back cleaning up the backyard, chopping up tree branches. So Just trying to get the upper hand constantly. So that's awesome. Yes, please feel free to battle out for who's my favorite. <laughs> that That is directly proportional to how much cleaning you've done. Just but so you know. If you're looking for the formula, it's brownie points equals cleaning times chocolate given in a day. <laughs> That's the... Right, yeah, pretty much. That's how it works. That's about um, it. Just a little side note here. We're going to need a disclaimer. Brownie, brownie points are rarely redeemable for actual brownies. But, but occasionally, occasionally, occasionally you do get yeah. actual brownies for your brownie points. Um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I looked outside and Abby's in a Squirrel! Tree. Squirrel! Abby! Squirrel! It's an Abby in a tree. Squirrel. It's not even a squirrel. A squirrel would be fine. Abby's in the tree. Um, but that's cool. So anyway, so they're just, um, we're jujitsuing it up. 
and everybody's getting fit and hopefully um, the way it's working out right now, I'm able to go to the gym a couple days a week because while Jacob's training, I can go to the gym and get my cardio and a shower in. And that's what I'm saying is it's a two hour session and she literally needs to be there at the beginning to drop me off and at the end to pick me up. But here's the thing is while I'm waiting so far, I've made friends with like three ladies. We're talking. Somebody's going to give me some geese. Her kids have outgrown. Gee is the uniform picture here that they use for, I'm totally making you work for this one. Um, <laughs> That they use for jujitsu. It's like a karate uniform. Everybody knows with the belt. Um, but they're expensive. And really, if your kids are going three days a week, they have to be washed and air dried between every class. So you really can't have too many. Yeah, you um, can't properly dry them. There was something that she saw that you can a bit, but what was it? Yeah, you can tumble dry on low for the first 15 minutes and then pull it out to air dry the rest. But... They're thick enough, the ones we have, that it's going to take a little longer to air dry than really, especially with Jacob doing class every day. Um, there again, Pappy chipped in to buy a, an extra gi. He's been such a huge help through such all help. of this. Just um, I, And and I, I threw an extra $150 worth of gear adding for Gracie, Spats, oh, and... and yeah. Rash guard. I picked up the rash guard and spats and knee pads. Well, I need knee pads. Seventeen dollars each for knee pads. And who sells knee pads? Yeah, who sells <laughs> individually? <laughs> Who's like the one-legged guy's? Like, yeah, this is a great deal. <laughs> I want this knee pad. I want a knee pad. The other knee, screw it. It is just how do you do that? Well, anyway, I I reckon it's more of a compression thing, maybe. But I don't know. But it's so it's so crack. heavily padded at the front that it seems like you wouldn't. It's not it's only really compression. It's a yeah. knee pad. Yeah. So why would you only want one of those? I don't know. Well, like, if I had a bum knee, like a bunch of right, these guys do. Right, but then you need do. the compression brace situation, not a knee pad, necessarily. But, yeah. well, anyway, um, it's expensive, is what I'm telling you. But I think it's going to be worth it. And the Easter Bunny <laughs> brought lots of lots of no-gi wear to our house, which is rash guards. You have to buy the compression tops and shorts. And, like, Abby, she doesn't have a lot of that stuff, you know, Ace and Jackson have a few hand-me-down things from when Josh used to play football and stuff. But Abby being the only girl, we don't have anything. She only has what I've went out and bought. So she doesn't have a lot of athletic wear. She's very girly girly. Um, and as a matter of fact, we're at this moment, she doesn't even own any blue jeans that fit. That's how, you know, it's just not, not what we do. So I had to get yeah, exactly. the Easter bunny had to get some, some cute little shorts and t-shirts and stuff for them to work out in, which is kind of fun. I kind of like shopping for that, but it gets really expensive. Um, but Pappy's helped out tremendously with that, and he's even offered to chip in a little bit for the twins' lessons. So that'll be great. He's been a huge, huge help. And, like, those geese really are expensive. And he We got a great deal. I mean, I found one for $90, which is a steal, because usually they're 150 and up. Um, <laughs> Doesn't go down from there. No. But I got a heck of a deal. So that was good. Props to me. Um, well, but you had someone Martha. be like, yeah. this is, yeah. Martha Martha gave me the hookup. She's like, this is where you go to buy it. Because she also has five kids, you know. And she's got mm -hmm. them all in, in jujitsu. So I'm sure she's in the same boat. That stuff all adds up. Um, yeah, that's got to suck. But it's very exciting. We do a lot of talking about jujitsu around here right now. And I'm sure it's ad nauseum to most people I know. But... I like it, um, and I think it's going to be really good for our family as a whole. And like I said, I've made friends. I'm hanging out, you know. Um, and you've made not friends. <laughs> There's one kind of strange one, then I won't go into that. I was about be to say, that would be the one person yeah. who watches <laughs> this. Be like, oh, who's this? We have three subscribers. Two of them are my friends, and one is that person. That lady. Yeah, um, just that And one. she's very sweet. Everyone I've met very there has been super nice. Do not get me wrong, but she was a little strange. A little TMI, instant best friend material. Um, and as Jacob recently informed me, um, once people get to know me, a very low percentage of people actual like actually like me. <laughs> but... On the surface, I can mesh well with anyone. That's kind of where he gets it. You chameleon, mm -hmm. you reflect their personality back at them, and you can be anyone's instant friend. Um, but upon further review, uh, maybe not so much. Uh, but anyway, she was very nice, and everybody's been very nice, and I think everybody's been really good with Jacob to 
say, here, you don't know what you're doing. Let me show you a move, you know, because they just threw him into this adult class. Here you go. Here's a grown ass man. Go kick. It was literally. Okay. So here's, all right. I got an idea for you. All right. All right. You ready? So what we do, we get a 250 pound adult. All right. 30 years old. All right. Cool. So we throw him in there and he, he's like a blue belt. All right. So he's been training for years. All right. And you're a white belt and you're 13 and you weigh like, I don't know, maybe a 100 stopping wet. 110. 110. 110. 110. And let's have you guys fight. And he knows what he's doing. And you're supposed to not have any idea what you're doing. And just let that work itself out. Like not even the level of instruction that I got was at the beginning, you walked in and he said, Pete did. He sat us down and he was like, all right, here's how to do this arm bar. And it was this complicated one. It wasn't like, here's how to do arm bar 101. It was literally just like this specific one for specific places that actually works really well. Um, it's almost like he knows what he's talking about. It's almost like the black belt knows what he's talking about. I think, no. he, has, I think he has two stripes on his black belt. That means he yeah. knows what he's doing. It, it, yeah, it occurs to me he might. He, he might. Yeah. He might. He might. He's really good. But they do. They showed him one move, and then they're like, "Go and roll." But these guys go, "Oh, okay. Hey, how are you? Shake hands. You don't know what you're doing. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna start out sitting." And I mean, I could see them saying, "Here, put your hand here. Put your leg here. This is what you're gonna do." It was. It's really amazing because you know those guys mm-hmm. don't have to take the time. They've invested Absolutely. time so they don't have to deal with this, but they have done a, an excellent job of making Jacob, I, I feel like, feel welcome and um, included and ready, you know, like he's going to be able to do what they can do someday. And, you know, I really like, you know, when they when we go to leave, Professor says, Jacob, be a good kid. Help out around the house. Yeah. Now, I can say be a good kid and help out around the house all day long. I can turn <laughs> freaking blue and pass out. They're like, what? I didn't hear anything. I didn't know. But Pete says be a good kid and help out around the house. And by golly, we have clean closets. <laughs> yeah. Well, not even clean closets. I think that really does mean he is a ninja. <laughs> He's a ninja. <laughs> we were talking about it and we decided that once you get, and this was a couple of the guys over my Triton family. And we decided once you're a purple belt, that's when you're a ninja. Purple belt and on, you are a ninja. And just random conversations. And I feel like their slogan is, don't look for a gym, look for a family. And I feel that so strongly. Because first day I went in, first guy, didn't know anyone, wasn't in the attire. I was I was in a gi class, sitting there in like a t-shirt and shorts. And like, they were, he reached over and was like, hi, my name's Skeeter, how's it going? And so it was really just a friendly atmosphere, and they taught me how to start. I didn't even know how to s- start jujitsuing, <laughs> like how to jujitsu. What, what is a jujitsu? Well, yeah, no, I, yeah. And the sad thing is, and this is where I think a lot of people would actually get discouraged, is that I knew more than most. I did a fair amount of research and had been pushing jujitsu for a while, not enough to put any of it in practice, it, it becomes apparent. <laughs> Quickly apparent. He Quickly thought he knew, apparent. and then you're yeah. like, oh, that's different. But like, and I watch, and I watch the Gracies have their own YouTube channel. I'll put the link here with Henner Gracie. He runs it. And a bunch of the people just, I I thought I knew more than I did, and I really did keep my ear to the jujitsu ground and try and figure out what was going on and like what are a couple good sweeps and passes and all that. But nothing has helped me more than the people over at Triton. They sit there and they go, you just did a stupid thing. Go back. I'll show you how to do the smart thing. And we run it through once or twice and then we keep going. It's, I love it. It's so good. Yeah, it is. It it has really been amazing. And, you know, that brings up another point. Jacob started and he's like, I want to go to the Gracie School. I want to go to the Gracie Academy period. Gracie is the name. Gracie's the name I know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, look, I only know what I know from my friend. And I know if Martha says this is a good place for you, I'm comfortable turning you over into their hands and you're going to be fine. That's all I know is that I can give it, give you to them and you will be fine. But then, you know, he was so adamant. Gracie's the big name. They're the ones who started jujitsu, blah, blah, blah. And there's a Gracie school in Tulsa. And I said, okay, let me look at it. So I Google, 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 um, and 
it pops up and these guys just got their black belts. I'm sure they're amazing, but they just got their black belts. They, they, you know, maybe trained with the Gracie's, but it's not the Gracie's. Um, yeah. so, you know, Pete has had his black belt for four years. He does some great outreach work with wounded warriors. Um, any, any, uh, veteran who comes back with 80 to hundred percent disability trains for free at Triton. I don't know if you knew that's the criteria. I didn't know they that train was... for absolutely free. You can donate a um, a uh, gi for their program because it's just to support veterans, um, and it's really amazing. Yes, sir. Are you interrupting well, an adult when they're talking? And that, that's another lesson Pete taught is Pete got very yeah, mad at him. Somebody eight. just got scared. <laughs> Cause... But that's just it. Is I don't think he gets mad. He gets very firm and very direct, and you know he means business. And, I, you know, they just don't. So now that's a new thread around here. Abby was telling Ace. Ace was acting up at dinner. And she's like, do you want mom to tell Pete? And I was <laughs> like, yeah, because I'm going to tell Pete. And, it, I mean, let me tell you, we pucker up around <laughs> Straight here. Straight as a board. Gonna, just... Whoop. Nope, we're good. Please don't tell Pete. <laughs> I'm going to go clean the whole room. <laughs> See you oh later. Uh, Smell your feet. Pete, Pete's a very respectable oh, guy. Oh. He's not necessarily intimidating. And he'll almost never stand on top of you and be yelling in your face. But he definitely demands the respect he deserves, you know? Mm -hmm. Being a Marine and being a black belt and training for all these years, he really shouldn't have to be picking up after kids in the lobby. And he's a he's a huge smartass. Like, he'll straight up tell you he's a huge smartass. One day, this guy... There were just some talking when we were putting our geese on or taking them off, I forget. And this guy like, hey man, you're a smartass. And Pete walks by and says, no one in here is a smartass. <laughs> and like shoves the guy with all his strength and walks off. It was <laughs> it was brilliant. I uh, That is funny. Just the whole atmosphere is so much fun. I love it. It's just great. And so far I've enjoyed just watching and, and kind of taking in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Like I said, visiting with the other parents um, and other the other, um, some of the instructors, one of the kids' instructors who spoke to me, he spoke to me a couple times and just said, hey, how's he liking it? Does, you know, does Jacob like it? You know, tell him he'll, it'll, it'll get better. It'll get easier. People are willing to help him, you know. And I mean, yeah. they just really reach out and make you feel included. Like, if you're willing to put forth the effort to be there, then they want you there. And it's really, really amazing. I wish more, more things that we try and do as parents work that way. Um, things like youth sports, soccer, football, it doesn't work that way. You're an in parent or you're not. Exactly. You're one of the click or you're not. And I've been in the click where I talk to those people, but I talk to everybody because that's my personality. And that's your surface personality. That's my surface personality. That's what all the people out there know. They don't know the me, but yeah. anyway, um, so I get along with everyone and it's fine and I can mesh, but it, it's not the same. You don't feel included. You feel like those people are probably talking about you behind your back as soon as you walk away. And that's just not the feeling I get here. Now we haven't been there a long time. Um, so I'm truly no expert, but I do know how they make my friend feel and I know how much she loves being there. So, so that's awesome. Don't you have like two that you're good friends well, with? Well, here's the thing is because I was friends with Martha and we went to the concert. Now I'm Facebook friends with a, a, a small group of them. Um, so I kind of keep up with them and I've been out a couple more times with them and they're always super friendly. Um, I've never felt safer going out with a group of women. Let me <laughs> yeah. tell you, I'm like, Oh, I yeah. hope somebody starts something. You just um, try, just try it, bring it. Um, and that's just, it's just a cool feeling. It's very, it's, and it's impressive to me. I like to see empowered women. You know, mm -hmm. I was thinking about enrolling Abby in dance because that's what I did growing up. But there's nothing wrong with dance. I love dance. It's a great, great form of expression and all that. But I think this is going to be just as good for her. Artsy faggot. <laughs> that's me. Um, jazz hands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the thing you is, have to get I'm the one singing Les Mis and calling oh, you don't artsy. Even start me on Les Mis. That's a whole separate podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, it is. But uh, one I, which I will sing the whole time. Oh, let's not. <laughs> let's not. You're not I'm never gonna see that podcast. I I can fudge thirty minutes of singing Les Mis. I can figure it out. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 
Um, but I think it'll be good for her because it, it builds confidence. It's it's called bully proofing your kids. My kids will never be bullied as long as they're in this class because they have the confidence to know that if somebody starts something, they can take care of themselves. And so mm -hmm. I like that. I also like to think that I've always taught my kids to stand up for other people who are being bullied, but this gives them a little more ammunition to do it with. Um, Cause that's the thing is even when you do see that 150 pound, you know, six foot five kid picking on the other one, as far as me, I don't have a whole lot of means of stopping that bullying. <laughs> I have, hey, stop. No, cool. Okay, I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you uh, don't want to stop? Oh, oh yeah. okay. Well, no, right. it's fine. Well, carry on then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Commence the beat down. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, you want to beat me instead now? Great. Awesome. No. But I I'll get in the trash you. can. You only have to pants me, all right? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Save you some time. Um. Although I will say that about bullying, a lot of times just somebody saying, hey, that ain't cool, um, will do it for a bully. They're doing it to try to impress somebody if nobody's impressed or somebody calls them on it. That really will a lot of times at least make them stop and think and maybe that's time enough to get a teacher there. You yeah. know, whatever. And so, anyway. Wait, what else? Jiu-Jitsu. So, Jiu-Jitsu jiu has consumed our lives. It's so just, we it's, don't have time to make podcasts. We're going to have to schedule like, I'm going to start making him take like one or two days a week off of jujitsu. No, nope. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's yeah, not well, going to Tuesday happen. night, Tuesday night anyway, I have class this week. So that's a no go. And you need to rest. You really will wear your body down. But other than I, that, I, can, I think you can train the rest of the week since we took a couple days off here because of Easter. I can walk Tuesday. <laughs> all the way to VA. T Dubs has done that, and I feel like the Brotherhood has once or twice. If T Dubs has done it, that's probably all you need to know. <laughs> to not do it. It's probably not a good idea. G generally speaking, yeah. So it occurs to me that Josh and BJ are now the, the ones out there cleaning. Maybe Jackson. But it's chilly today. Like, cold enough that I put on a sweater and grabbed a coat when we ran to Walmart. And DJ's out there working on the yard in shorts and a t-shirt. Because you're a baby. I'm not a baby. It's cold. Have you been out there? Why would I? It's cold, right? <laughs> so he won't go outside, but he's going to call me a baby for putting on a Yeah, you okay. baby. Hot. I'll be kettled this time. <laughs> All right. Uh. Anyway, are we at about 30 minutes? Are we doing 30 minutes and stopping? What's the rule? I, well, there are a couple of different ways one can stop a podcast. We can do our general way of stopping it, which is if you don't blah, 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 you're doing it wrong, and there's like the fade out and the stop talking. But really, one of the most effective ways that I've found is if you just cut out in the... The preceding podcast has been an advertisement for Triton Fight Center, LLC, except it wasn't paid for.